this is the first series Broncos. They all came up with uh, manual brakes. It's very difficult to stop because this basically is an F-150 with manual brakes. Uh, they suffered with, with the manual brake situation for years, but one of the problems with putting power brakes was the master cylinder was right next to the throttle link. So there was no room for the booster, plus the master was very close to the hood. In the last year of production of this model, Ford made a, a 45 degree bracket, put the booster off sideways, but the booster is no longer production. So a lot of these guys are, made, are duplicating the bracket, but then they put one of the, the little offshore vacuum boosters on, which is basically only a 20% increase in power shift. So we can use the same 90 degree bracket, or 45 degree bracket, with our hydro boost system, have superior stopping power and does not interfere with the throttle linkage. So a lot, it's a very popular combination, and we can even use the hydro boost up on the original location. The better setup is the uh, 45 degree bracket. Hydro boost works great on these trucks, especially if you have oversized tires. Boost runs off of the power steering pump. Now many of these trucks don't have power steering, but it's an easy addition. So we can provide the steering box and the pump and the hydro boost system to upgrade both the power steering and the power brakes with the hydro boost system. Now the hydro boost runs off of the power steering pump pressure, so it gives us plenty of stopping power and a very compact size and we can get both power steering and power brakes into this and make it drive like a modern vehicle. The Hydro Boost is sold by Power Brake Service. Power Brake Service is the official distributor for new Bosch Hydro Boosts. There are some guys selling conversion kits using Rebuild Hydro Boost. Make sure you know what you're getting. We offer, we offer rebuilds, but we have the new Bosch unit, and it's a guaranteed by Bosch. Fun cars to drive, a lot of them still are still off-roading.